हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज योर प्रभाकर एंड वेलकम टू आर चैनल डॉन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री होप यू आर ऑल हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी इन यूर होप्स स्टे होम स्टे सेफ एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द परसेंटेज ऑफ आयोनिक कैरेक्टर वेन टू एलिमेंट आर कंबाइनिंग विथ वन एन अदर वेदर दे विल फॉर्म आयोनिक कॉम्पाउंड और वेदर दे विल फॉर्म कोवलेंट कॉम्पाउंड इफ दे आर फॉर्मिंग आयोनिक कॉम्पाउंड वट इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ कोवलेंट कैरेक्टर Sir, how ionic compound can be covalent in nature? Yes, it can be. What is the reason for the covalent nature of the particular ionic compound? And how to find out the percentage of ionic character of them? Also, we will discuss. So, let us start the things. Percentage of ionic character. What is this percentage of ionic character? R. We can. Poisson rules. So together we will discuss ma how to find the percentage of ionic character of a compound and what are the Poisson rules we will be discussing. So let us get into the thing. Let us take there are two elements A and B. Electronegativity of A is X A we will take. Electronegativity of B is X B we will be taking. Whenever X A and X B are combining to produce a compound A B, to find out whether the compound A B is covalent or ionic or fifty percent covalent and fifty percent ionic, to identify this thing by using electronegativity, we can explain. For example. The electronegativity difference between the two compounds, that is, X A minus X B, is less than 1.7. If electronegativity difference between A and B is 1.7, then it will be a ionic, sorry, covalent compound. If X A minus X B is greater than 1.7, then that compound is ionic compound. If Electronegativity difference between them is 1.7. Then that compound will be 50% covalent and 50% ionic in nature. So like this, by finding the electronegativity difference between the atoms, we can easily identify which will be covalent and which will be ionic and which will be 50% ionic and 50% covalent in nature. Let us say, for example, sodium chloride. potassium chloride rubidium chloride and then cesium chloride one more thing sodium oxide magnesium oxide and aluminium oxide let us take lithium nitride magnesium nitride and aluminium nitride let us take these three comparison nacl na2o and then li3n so whenever you compare these kind of things whenever you take magnesium oxide and magnesium nitride and let us take second a group elements beryllium chloride magnesium chloride calcium chloride strontium chloride and then barium chloride Whenever you take this kind of compounds, how to identify which is more ionic and which is more covalent, or which is less ionic and which is less covalent? So to identify any compounds, percentage of ionic nature. The percentage of ionic nature can be calculated for any compound by using the formula percentage of ionic character. Is equals to 16 into X A minus X B plus 3.5 into X A minus X B 
whole square. So the formula to calculate percentage of ionic character in any compound is 16 into Xa minus Xb plus 3.5 into Xa minus Xb whole square. So this equation is given by Alred is the scientist who gave this equation. Sir, why? Why we have to find the percentage of ionic character means underline these statements all ionic compounds are not 100% ionic in nature. The statement is all ionic compounds are not 100% ionic in nature. This is the reason why all normally we will think that ionic compounds means definitely they will be ionic. There is no covalent nature. Only covalent compounds only covalent we will be thinking. But that is wrong assumption ma. All ionic compounds are not 100% ionic in nature. Let me tell you why they are not 100% ionic in nature means. If you consider for example sodium chloride. In this sodium chloride, sodium is a cation and chlorine is an anion. This cation is electron deficient. Cation, though it is having stable electronic configuration, but still it is electron deficient. Since it is electron deficient, electron deficient, Na plus Cl minus. So this is electron deficient and this is electron rich. Since sodium is electron deficient and chlorine is electron rich, the nucleus of the cation will pull the valence electrons of chlorine. The nucleus of the cation will pull the electrons of the valence shell of the chlorine because of which and there will be repulsion between the nuclei of the two ions also. The nucleus of the cation and nucleus of the anion, they will repel one another. At the same time, nucleus will attract its electrons because it is electron deficient. Because of which, negative charge will come towards this side and positive charge will move away from this one. And this property is known as polarizing capacity. Polarizing capacity. So the capacity of a cation, the capacity of a cation to polarize anion is known as the polarizing capacity. The capacity of anion to get polarized is known as the polarizability. The capacity of cation to create poles in anion is known as the polarizing capacity. The capacity of anion to undergo polarization is known as the polarizability. So, the capacity of cation to polarize an anion is known as the polarizing capacity. And the capacity of anion to get polarized is known as the polarizability. So, the covalent nature of any species depends on these two factors. For example, you see polarizing capacity covalent nature so covalent nature is directly proportional to polarizing capacity the polarizing capacity at the same time the covalent nature is directly proportional to Covalent nature is directly proportional to polarizability. So the covalent nature of any substance is dependent on the polarizability of anion and polarizing capacity of a cation. So that's why every ionic compound is not 100% ionic in nature. Why every compound is not 100% ionic in nature means because whenever a cation and anion are present in the compound, the cation will try to attract the electrons of the anion which creates the distortion in the electron cloud of the anion so it creates poles in the anion the capacity of cation to create poles is known as the polarizing capacity the capacity of anion to get polarized is known as the polarizability
Okay, this concept is explained by the Fasan and those rules are known as the Fasan rules. This is very important, but definitely you can expect one confusing question based on this Fasan rules. Or indirect or directly there will be relation with this concept. Is it clear? Right. So take down this thing. This is a very important thing, ma. how to calculate the percentage of ionic character for a particular species. taken this thing. Let's get into this. What are these Fasan rules? So let us see. So this is the polarizing capacity and polarizability. Now let us see how Covalent nature is influenced by the cation and then anion according to the Fasan rules. These are the Fasan rules. Cation. For cations, when the cation is in need of electrons, then it will pull the electrons, right? So, what are the properties which increases the need of electrons means the first one is size of cation, and the second one is charge on cation. Size of cation is one factor that affects its capacity to attract the electrons and charge on cation. Charge on cation means its capacity to withdraw the electrons. So charge means like Na plus Ng2 plus and then Al3 plus. Remember this thing <coughs> very carefully. So size of cation is one more thing and then Charge on cation is one more thing which will influence the cations. Cations polarizing power. So simple logic one. If the nucleus of any species is close to the electrons means it can withdraw the electrons or it can attract the electrons. So let us take Li plus Na plus K plus Rb plus and then Cs plus. Lithium, Sodium, Potassium, Rubidium and then Cesium. Whenever you take the cations, Lithium ion is the small ion, Cesium ion is the large ion. So that's why here polarizing power is inversely proportional to the size of cation. Polarizing power is inversely proportional to the size of cation. And charge on cation you see. Let us take Na plus, Ng2 plus and then Al3 plus and Si4 plus. We know very well that the size is inversely proportional to charge. Inversely proportional to charge, right? As the charge increases, the size decreases for isoelectronic species. So, for isoelectronic species, size is inversely proportional to the charge. So, that's why sodium, magnesium, aluminium and silicon. Among them, silicon is the smaller one. So, as the size of cation is a smaller means, this is polarizing power is maximum. And hence, size is inversely proportional to the charge on cation and polarizing power is inversely proportional to the size of cation. So, polarizing power is directly proportional to charge on cation. That is the thing. Is it clear? Now, let us see how they will ask question based on this thing means. NaCl, KCl, rubidium chloride, cesium chloride. Arrange them in the increasing order of ionic character. Arrange the following in the increasing order of their ionic character. Clear? We know very well that polarizing power increases means its covalent nature also increases. So here you see sodium is small. Even we take lithium also. Lithium chloride. 
lithium is a smaller cation since lithium is a smaller cation its polarizing power is maximum here anions are same so that's why we don't have confusion in this thing so lithium is the smaller cation so its polarizing power is maximum so it can pull the electrons very easily so it will become more covalent in nature more covalent means less ionic in nature so increasing order of ionic character means what we will write let us take this as a b c d and e so a less than b less than c less than d less than e like this we can write the ionic nature of the compounds let us get with the character of cation you see let us take nacl mgcl2 and then alcl3 si cl4 arrange them in the increasing order of ionic character for this also increasing order of ionic character this is a b c d so we know very well that sodium is plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 as the charge increases polarizing power increases and hence its covalent nature increases so the ionic nature decreases so that's why this is more covalent in nature means less ionic so a greater than b greater than c greater than d will come so like this we can discuss about the fasan rules so fasan rules with respect to the cation is size of cation polarizing power is inversely proportional to the size of cation and polarizing power is directly proportional to the charge on the cation whatever you take the main reason here is the capacity of cation to pull the electrons let us study with respect to the anions so let us discuss with respect to the anions anions means polarizability into so the polarizability depends on size of anion and other one is charge on anion so see size of anion as the size of anion increases the nucleus and valency electron distance increases so the other nucleus can remove the electron very easily right or it can pull the electron very easily when electron is close to the nucleus means other nucleus cannot pull this electron so that's why whenever the electron is away from this then you can easily have the polarizability so size of anion polarizability is directly proportional to the size of anion so let us take f minus cl minus br minus and then i minus so f minus cl minus br minus and i minus you know very well this is more charge size so that's why polarizability is f minus less than cl minus less than br minus less than i minus will be coming so let us take for example sodium fluoride sodium chloride sodium bromide and sodium iodide arrange the following in the increasing order of ionic character increasing order of ic they may ask you covalent character also i told you very clearly all ionic compounds are not 100% so here you see a b c d so see this is larger in size iodine is larger in size so more polarizability more polarizability means automatically more covalent in nature more covalent in nature means less ionic so this is less ionic means this will be more this thing so that's why increasing order of ionic character means d less than c less than b less than a why a is more ionic in nature because of the less size of the anion so that's why this is less ionic in this is more ionic in nature this is less and this is more covalent in nature 
so basically covalent which is more covalent and which is less covalent means only with respect to ionic compounds only they will be asking the questions let us see the charge on anion we know very well that as the charge on the anion increases its size automatically increases let us take f minus o2 minus and n3 minus whenever you take polarizability is directly proportional to charge on anion as the charge on the anion increases its polarizability increases so let us take naf na2o na3n let us go with lif li2o li3n which is more ionic and which is more covalent means a b c increasing order of ionic character so see as we have discussed as the polarizability increases its covalent nature also increases covalent nature increases means ionic nature decreases so lithium nitride case the polarizability is maximum and hence its covalent nature is maximum so ionic nature is minimum so c less than b less than a will be common so like this we can identify whether a compound is ionic in nature or covalent in nature and their ionic and covalent natures also we can easily identify is it clear so like this we can understand this percentage of ionic character and then fasan rule this is very very important and confusing concept ma there is one more concept known as lattice energy concept that lattice energy i will just introduce here ma so don't get confused u is directly proportional to z plus into z minus by r square here lattice energy concept which is having more lattice energy and which is having less lattice energy that is a different concept here which is more ionic and which is more covalent that is a different concept so don't get confused with this thing and which case which ionic compound is easily formed here let us say nacl mgcl2 alcl3 sicl4 which ionic compound is easily formed means nacl will be easily formed why the ionization energy of sodium is minimum compared to the other so that's why that is easily donating electrons and easily formed that's why it will be more ionic in nature if it is more ionic in nature means that is easily formed if it is less ionic in nature means that is typically formed if you see nacl and mgcl2 and alcl3 which will have more lattice energy which will have more lattice energy here the charge is maximum aluminum so that's why lattice energy is maximum so so like this we can easily understand which is more lattice energy which is less lattice energy which is more ionic and which is less ionic the basic simple rule is covalent nature is directly polar proportional to polarizing power and polarizability and the uh, one more thing you have to understand is no ionic compound is 100% ionic in nature so like this we can study this properties belongs to the ionic compounds but there is no relation of covalent compounds with this property this property purely for ionic compounds only they will be asking you like this we can understand what is ionic character and what are fasan rules and how can we do problems based on the fasan rules <coughs> right right so if you like this video means like this button if you want to share this with your friends means share the video if you want to get more updates from my channel means click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and that's for this video thank you